Today, for pretty bento, I harvested fresh leeks from my garden that I will make into pancakes. Also, I will show you how to make dressed steamed spinach that is stable in my bento box. This garden inspired lunch is vegan today, using rice noodles with signature ingredients from the garden the leek pancake with spring season spinach. It is full spring and pre bento garden. Winter vegetables, slow to grow during the cold California months, has matured and now ready to harvest. This is the first time I've grown leeks in my garden. <laughs> and as you can tell, it has a very strong solid root base, it's extremely stubborn, and it does not want to come out of its comfortable soil. If you're not familiar with leeks, they look like a giant version of a green onion, and it belongs in the alien family that contains the onion, garlic, shallot, scallion, and chives. Also, I'm plucking red sorrel leaves. These have a lemony taste and it's great for garnishing my bento box, and it too also has great health benefits. This is a rogue lettuce plant that emerged from a dormant seeding from last season. I first received this from my mom, who's been cultivating this variety in her garden for years because it's the perfect size for Korean barbecue lettuce wraps. Leeks taste like mild onions, often called gourmet's onion, and treated as such. It is used in various of dishes like soups and can be roasted, sautéed, and used as an onion substitute because it has a sweet but milder characteristic and a flavor that is very distinctive. To prepare the leek, trim away the root end and any tough outer green leaves. Make sure to rinse away any more dirt that may have gotten in between the layers and chop it up horizontally or you could chop it in little stalks as well too. Leeks cooked directly from the garden has a distinct and stronger flavor with fresh firmness. My garden leeks are super vibrant because they grew under warm sunshine and nutrients from the rich soil. I'm using a Korean pancake batter available at Asian grocery stores. It makes it convenient and easy for me. All you need to do is mix in about a quarter of pancake mix with water to thin out the batter. I like a little runny so it coats the leeks slightly. I'm also going to use the matchstick leeks, a similar style that is used for green onion pancakes. I think this way is better because it keeps the batter and leek ratio perfect. Before we start preparing for our steamed spring spinach, let's have a little taste. It is incredibly oniony with a great crunch texture. Spring spinach is at its prime. The leaves are green and the stems are firm and fresh. Rinse under a tub of cold water to make sure that all the leaves are clean from debris. Transfer over to a glass bowl and I'll share a little hack to make the steaming spinach a little easier. Cover and place the spinach in the microwave for 2 minutes. I know, this is not a preferred method, but this is super convenient for me. Mm -hmm. 
Let the spinach cool down on a cutting board, and when it's cool enough to handle, squeeze the remaining liquid out and cut the end pieces and place it in the bowl. Now I'm going to be a Korean mom here and instead of measuring out the denjang, which is Korean fermented soybean paste, soy sauce, and sesame oil, I'm going to start with a base of a teaspoon of each and build out the flavors from there. And like a Korean mom again, I'm using my hand to gently massage the seasonings together until each strand is gently coated. Finish with a generous sprinkling of sesame seeds. And now for the taste test. Now prepare the thin rice noodles, or also called somen noodles. And once the noodles are cooked through, which will be in a couple minutes, shock the noodles with cold water. This will make the noodles chewier and bouncy. Now it's time to assemble the bento. Start with the lettuce. Add the rice noodle bundles. Drizzle the sauce made from fermented red peppers, vinegar, and soy sauce over the rice bundles. Add the round leek medallion pancakes. and garnish with the red sorrel leaf. On top of the bento box, add in the matchstick leek pancake. Add the seasoned spring spinach. I saw hiding out in my garden. Enjoy this vegan garden bento box with seasonal garden vegetables. Please subscribe to my channel and on the comments below, let me know what you would like me to make for you in the next pretty bento video. Enjoy your bento box.